Hello everyone, SP Architects here. Here we are together in another tutorial. For this example, we are preparing a project. We are preparing facade. Let's say that we have finished this and we are gonna place this view into our layout setup. So to achieve that, we need to learn how to save perspective views as plans and how to place them in layouts. But when we place them in layouts, there will be a problem which is wavy lines. So we need to learn what is wavy lines. As you can see here, we have black lines around building and we can see these lines very clear. But generally you will see those lines jaggedly in the layouts. So this is the main title of our tutorial. Before beginning this, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial. It's going to help this channel to growing up. And if you want to see more tutorials like this, you can subscribe. Okay, without any more information, now we can start. Alright, for the first stage, we are going to save a couple of views. To achieve that, we are going to go to this project map. After that, we will see this generic perspective. But first, let's get an angle that suits this project. I think this angle suits the building. I've decided this one. After that, again, I'm going to go to generic perspective. Right click and we click this current view. For now, I'm going to leave the settings as is and click create. Now we have one view. I'm gonna create second. Maybe from this angle, choose the building. Again, perspective, save current and click create. Now we go to view map. And from the bottom of the window, we will see two views. First one and second one. They are very useful. I change the camera position and click them. We will go there. Alright, now we place these views into layouts. Let's go to layout. And here we can see our 3D view layout. You can create yours from this new layout icon. Let's double click ours. And we will see our blank view. After that, we go to view map. And we are just going to drag and drop our newly created perspective. You may want to crop this. Sure, you can. So click the image. Click the edge. And crop. Alright, we have placed our view into layout. But let's try to zoom in. Unfortunately, our image is blurry. Our black lines are jagged, as we said before. This is our problem. Unfortunately, we have to solve this. This will seem very low quality, even you have saved this as PDF file. So, how we are going to solve this? At the first, I'll go back to the 3D window and I've decided my view angle again and from this side of the window we will see the 3D name. Let's just right click this and click set window size. So here we can see the resolution that we placed into layout. Let's increase those but first click this keep proportions. I'm gonna make this 2500. Other part will be automatically changed. And I'm gonna click OK. After doing this, please be careful. Do not move camera and click anything in this view. If you do, you can accidentally broke your view angle. So without touching anything, we are going to go to this generic perspective again. Right click. Sorry, not this one. 
from the this project map this generic perspective save current view and let's give a name that's used for this high resolution view from this name part and click create now we have our third view first two are low resolution and the third one is high resolution now we can place this one into layout let's go to layout open up delete the first go back to the view map and drag and drop there we go it's even not fitted inside first I'm gonna crop I'm gonna disable the name title name and scale down hit control plus K or you can use this stretch it's the same Now we can zoom inside very deeply. It's very clear compared to before. We can increase this. By doing this, your printings will be more clear. All right, this is how you can get rid of the Jacob Tynes blurry image from your layout. I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. If you have any questions and suggestions, please comment them in the comment section below. Of course, please do not forget to hit the like button. By the way, if you want to download this project file and also my other project files, you can also go to my Patreon page. In that page, you can download this project file and also my other project files. In addition to that you will also find more advanced arcade tutorials. Alright friends, thank you for watching, until the next time, have a nice day.